Hi everybody, it's Catherine with Colorado Yard Care. You know, one of the great joys of spring is growing bright and beautiful annual flowers in containers and planters. Whether you buy them pre-planted or plant them yourself, it's important to care for them wisely so that they not only stay alive, but thrive all summer long. You may have had the experience of buying a planter that looks great in the store, only to have it fade and decline over a few weeks. This doesn't have to happen if you care for it correctly. So in this video, I'll share with you the four secrets to growing amazing flower pots. The first thing to do is to make sure your container or planter has great drainage. This is absolutely critical. If your pot doesn't drain, the roots of your plants will waterlog. The roots simply cannot function if they are submerged in water. If the roots stay saturated for too long, the plants will start to yellow and eventually die. On the other hand, if your pot drains well, the roots will get plenty of air and your plants will be vigorous all summer. So here's how you make sure that your pot will drain. Most pre-planted containers have holes already. Just look on the bottom of your planter. If they're there, great, you're all set. Just make sure that they're not blocked with roots or potting soil. If your container doesn't have holes, you'll have to drill a few. Drainage problems occur for two main reasons. The first case is when you purchase a plastic container. Sometimes they don't come with the holes already punched open. You either have to drill a few holes or push the holes out. Be sure you do this before you plant. The second case is when you're repurposing something as a planter. You might be using a metal bucket or a bowl or something even more creative. If you're planting directly into it, you must drill holes. If you can't drill holes, do not plant in it. Likewise, if you're setting a planter inside another container, the outer container must also have holes. If it doesn't, the water will collect in the outer container and will still waterlog your plants. The bottom line is to make sure that your planters have great drainage. Since water is going to run out of the drain holes, make sure to place your flower pot on a surface that won't stain or get a saucer to catch the water. The second thing to do is to make sure that you water regularly. Potting soil is manufactured to drain well enough so that the roots can get enough air. But the roots also need to stay moist as well. Therefore, it's important to water your planter regularly to keep it moist enough for the plants to stay alive. You cannot let potting soil dry out. If you do, your plants will be brown, crispy, and dead before you know it. Where I live in Colorado, most gardeners have to water their containers at least once per day to keep the plants from wilting. If the containers are in a sunny area, you might even have to water them twice per day. It's really important to be consistent with your watering. So if you plan to leave town, try to get a friend to water your pots while you're gone. Watering so often can get cumbersome. Most people would like to do something else with their summer besides taking care of their flower pots. So with most of the pots that I plant, I rig up a drip irrigation system to water the pots automatically. Then I don't have to worry about missing a watering day or even leaving town for a few days. You can even create a simple one that runs off the spigot on your house. The third thing to do is to make sure you fertilize regularly. Growing plants in containers is different than growing plants in the ground. In the ground, plants have real soil to nourish them. But in containers, we don't use real soil. We use what we call potting soil or container media. Potting soil, ironically, doesn't contain any real soil at all. It's made of peat moss, coconut fiber, perlite, and a variety of minor ingredients. What's funny is that none of the components of potting soil actually have any plant nutrients. Furthermore, there aren't any soil microorganisms nourishing the plants either. So to make sure that your plants have the nutrients they need to grow and flower, you have to fertilize them. I like to use a water-soluble fertilizer like miracle Grow about once per week. I mix it up in my watering can and water the plants. I like this method best because I get to control the amount of fertilizer so I don't over-fertilize or under-fertilize. And yes, you really do need to fertilize about once per week to keep annual flowers healthy. Other plants that don't flower all summer, like say shrubs or grasses, can be fertilized once every two weeks. The fourth thing you need to do is to trim your plants occasionally. 
The idea is to remove any spent flowers. Not only does this give the plants a fresher appearance, but it helps them put more energy into making additional flowers. Simply look for the faded flowers and make sure you're not clipping off the new buds. Trim the flower stalks as far back as you can without damaging the main stem. You can also cut back any stems that look tired. I check my containers about once per week to see if they need any trimming. Flower scissors are a great tool for this task because they have very narrow blades that clip thin stems easily. So to review, here are the four things you need to do to keep your flower pots thriving all summer long. First, make sure that your container has drain holes. Second, water often enough so that the potting soil doesn't dry out. Third, fertilize your plants with a water soluble fertilizer about once per week. Fourth, trim your plants to remove any spent flowers and tired looking stems. If you implement these four tips on a regular basis, you'll have gorgeous annual flowers that bring joy to your life all summer long. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.